Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanna to talk about style and specifically where I'm at, what I've been trying to do for the past, I'd say six months, probably even less. I have decided that I am entering my fantasy era. And I've been saying this in my head for about two months now and it makes me really excited because at the end of the day, deciding to dress in a way that is unconventional, which honestly, I feel like if you look around, especially, I don't wanna like be weird, but like in the city and places where there's just a lot of different kinds of people, there are people wearing all kinds of different types of styles and it's a little questionable, but you just accept it. I don't live in a city, but I just feel so much more myself and I feel more comfortable when I'm not trying to fit in like low rise jeans and the Y2K aesthetic. It's not for me. I prefer to go the more fantasy route and everything that I love in my life is fantasy. I formed this relationship with fantasy worlds in middle school. I'd probably even say earlier, but when I was in middle school, Lord of the Rings, Pirates of the Caribbean, Harry Potter, all of these fantasy movies started coming out and that is when it all started. And right now at work, I wear a uniform and I've worn a uniform for 10 years. So I have felt a little repressed and it's a little like sad, but that is why I think dressing in a way that's fun and expressive is really important outside of work and with everything that I bring into my life. I want it to remind me of a little piece of magic and I just think it's such a great way to honor your inner child. So that's what I've been trying to do. And you might be wondering, like I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now and this is technically athleisure, which I got into the trap of wearing a lot of last year when I was like really into working out. Well, I shouldn't say that really into working out. I've Far from there. What I mean to say is I will still wear athleisure, um, but it always has something a little special to me. So this sweatshirt, they sell big crew neck sweatshirts like this that'll say like Malibu or like tennis club, but I can't, I can't participate in those. <laughs> it's just, I feel so weird admitting this stuff, but it is so true. So this scout regimen is from an anime and it has a little symbol on it. Let me just like stand up and show you guys. So it has the scout symbol and this sweatshirt just, ugh, I love it. It's just a great color. First of all, I found out that I'm a deep winter and this color just reminds me of Princess Jasmine. That's what I mean. There's just these little special elements to my clothing that just make me really happy. And I dress it up with my little Harry Potter accessories and I have little Mickey Mouse earrings on. I am trying to incorporate different kinds of pieces, a lot of natural materials. I am dyeing my clothes. I'm trying to rework my clothes. I've also let go of the attachment to my hair, which is very interesting because I don't know how to function with my hair down or in my face anymore. I can't do it. It's very functional, which I like. I feel like I'm in a phase of not hiding. Like I grew up, having acne that's why i started my channel and i would always love to have hair in my face and now my face is always out so while i'm saying all this i am trying to get across the point that you know we're going through these different phases in our lives and there are times where we feel so trapped in our bodies and i have definitely felt trapped when it comes to wanting to hide but also wanting to be out there and be myself. YouTube is a weird place where people can look very vain and there is a lot of vanity involved, but I also think that I'm not vain because I dress so fun and like different at home. And then when it comes to me like stepping outside, that is when I would get really nervous and I would just not wanna go. I'd be like, can I actually go out in this outfit? But at home, I love it so much. So yeah, I was just not comfortable with being around a lot of people and being seen. And the one thing that I keep in mind all the time when I see something that I think is really cool or like, I wanna wear Dumbledore's hat, 
I'm like, I can wear it. Who's going to say anything to me? No one. No one's going to stop me at the grocery store and being like, why are you wearing that hat? No one. I have never been stopped. Where I live, no. Like nothing is going to happen. <laughs> but I will say this, people who do stop you um, or comment on something that you're wearing, it's usually because they also like it or they want to build a connection and be like, oh, that reminds me of this or from that show. And then you can be like, yes, it is from that show. And then you just have a little moment. And I know for some people that's like a lot. You don't want to have little moments of people out and about. I've been there, but it is just so nice. That is why I love going to the Renaissance Fair. I realized a couple months ago that my, well, one of my favorite days of the year is going to the Ren Fair. And you, ugh, I can't even express how much joy it brings me to go there. It is such a special day in my year or multiple days, I should say. And I've also been that person in the group that is full on decked out and nobody else is. And it's because I have to, like this is where I get to be myself. And that is how I truly feel. I feel so free and myself. And this is how I'm meant to dress all the time. I feel so powerful. I have my little elf ears on. Oh my God, I can't even describe to you. So with the unfair in mind, I have been like revamping the way I look at my clothes or trying my best. It's still a little bit difficult, but just looking at pieces and being like, ooh, that reminds me of a pirate. That reminds me of a witch. And that is what I do. And it's just really me trying to get, gain the confidence to go out into the world and wear the outfits. And I did it this week and it felt so good. Oh my God. I was wearing a poncho, a crochet poncho. And that was my coat, and I felt like Molly Weasley. I want to get into the overarching theme of this year. It feels very aquatic to me. When I say aquatic, I mean things like mermaid core and pirate core, and I don't know what else, just sea life. And this is very strange for me because I am not the strongest swimmer. <laughs> but I do now appreciate mermaids. I never got into mermaidy things um, very slightly, but the one thing that I was obsessed with, which I can't believe I didn't mention before, is Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, just that series just warms my heart. I love Johnny Depp. I always have, always did. I love just the silhouette of pirate, puffy, large tops with these like pants that you tuck into boots. <sighs> I love it. And that is the second outfit that I wore to the Ren Fair last year. I went twice and my mom actually had free tickets for a specific weekend. My husband went with me the one day and then I went by myself on the second day, which was very exciting because I hadn't been to anything by myself in a while, like a big event. And this was the one that I knew I could just do and be happy. And I was, I gave away a ticket to somebody and I just felt so at peace, so at home, just walking about. I was dressed kind of pirate-ish, but I was like an elf sprite. So I had a little backpack and I did the pirate-ish outfit. But yeah, I just felt so stinking cool. Just so you know, I have no outline for this video. So from all over the place, I apologize, but I just couldn't. I just wanted to do a free flowing thought video. I'm having fun. So going back to my theme, being aquatic has never been my thing. I have done it with the hair, the mermaid hair. Um, that's what I've been doing, but there has been a lot of water in my life. Even last year, like I thrifted this little purse and it had little pearls on it and I got it for my honeymoon, which you went on. That is a lost vlog that I need to like finish an update or upload, I should say. And that was different for me. I will add, my birthstone is the pearl and I've always hated it. And now I don't hate it. So that's just weird. Second, third thing, I don't know what number we're on, but Avatar came out and that was a ride and it was in the water tribe place. The next thing is um, my plant medicine experience that I actually went on in January. It's uh, in the shiitake family, I'm just gonna say that. And there was a blue carpet where I was and I was in the water 
and it was beautiful. There was a lot of Avatar coming into my experience and I just felt so one with the water and it was a very fluid and comforting experience and I felt no fear when it came to water, which I am afraid of like the deep blue. I can't look at it. It freaks me out. But that was an interesting just thing that happened. And then I started hearing that mermaid core is coming what am I saying is a thing and I'm like oh my god like there are so many water subjects in my life and I feel like I've just been called back to the ocean and I'm just really excited about it because last year years prior I've always been like an elf a fairy all that kind of stuff but I have another character to add. One thing I also keep in mind when it comes to clothes and my style is essences. There are seven of them, at least the ones that I like to get into. So your essences are a mix of yin and yang, there's a spectrum, and they are, I will list off for you, dramatic, gamine, natural, classic, romantic, ingenue, and angelic. For myself, from what I just gather from what I feel like looks good on me, I'm a bit of natural, ingenue, and angelic. And we're a blend of all of them, but I think those are my three more powerful one, powerful ones. You can see natural is casual and sportive. Ingenue is cute and innocent, and a lot of people think I'm younger, like almost ten years younger than I actually am. So that's why I think I fall into there. And then angelic is otherworldly and mystical. And this, I feel like I didn't realize for a long time because I was like, I don't have like wide set eyes, um, but I think my face is a little bit long and that is a characteristic. I also have a pretty decent sized forehead. Here I am just picking myself apart on YouTube for you guys, but if it's helpful, um, if you're if you know about these or are confused, I think these are just observations that I've made in myself. And when it comes to dressing like a fantasy character, I think it just fits. So yeah, I think I just pull off the ears and all these things pretty well. Let's go into the accessories board. And here I have beautiful pearl accessories, which like I said before, I hated pearls, but um, I have since dug out every single pearl that I have in my life <laughs> and <laughs> I'm trying to incorporate them. I even bought seashell charms so I could turn into earrings because I don't have a lot of aquatic type accessories. And I've actually kept a lot of fantasy costumey pieces. If you didn't know, this chest back here is just filled with costume clothes. And I love this chest. I got it at the thrift store and it was like 17 bucks. It was our first coffee table and I'll never let it go. It's just my pirate chest. And that one, that chest, I got that for $10, um, probably like four months ago. She's beautiful. A little more like Asian style. Oh, I just love it, treasure. And when it comes to aquatic or pirate or any of these fantasy characters, include your own culture. I think it's so beautiful to look at your culture and the prints and patterns or your ethnicity, I should say, like your roots. And incorporate that like I found such beautiful modern traditional Filipino clothes for women and the embroidery the lace the chunky jewelry like this looks kind of piratey to me because of the white and the gold and that necklace it's like she found that in a treasure chest that's how I see it and I love it so much I found out that my hairstyle is bridal Basically, if it looks like I could get married in that hairstyle, that is what I like to wear. And I've been doing this for almost a year now. And the one moment that I realized my style was bridal was when I was going through some bridal magazines because I was trying to make a collage, which I did make, and I was cutting a lot of stuff out. And I was like, well, this is a pattern. I just feel like a niffler. And what I came to realize is that my draw to crystals, shiny things, and pearls um, is all very angelic. And I was like, wow, this is all making sense because as far as ethereal and angelic clothing, it's very long line, very fluid. It's like an S and for my short frame, it's not the best, but 
I am going to like experiment with it, very flowing and comfortable styles. So I was really happy that I found a way to incorporate that into my style. So let's move on to where I've been collecting my ideas and my thoughts, which is Pinterest. Surprise, surprise. So let's head there together, shall we? So let's talk about hair. I want more hair accessories. I want to do hair jewelry which I haven't done a lot of. So type four hair does dreads really well. And that I think of like pirates and the Caribbean and a little gold jewelry and beads and like all that stuff, so beautiful. And then when I think of straight hair, I think of Vikings, first of all. And when it comes to braids, I also think of Vikings. So it doesn't matter what kind of hair texture you have, it's for everybody. Here we have some beautiful pearls in the hair and some seashells, and we have just dangly things. So I have these little butterfly clips that I really love. They're from Ulta. This hair clip I got specifically because it reminds me of the Philippines, very natural and baskety. I'm not quite sure if I'll do the whole circular thing, but definitely wraps. I love the wraps. Accessories are really where it's at when it comes to fantasy dressing because I feel like the little details just make things look handmade. So these little beads all over Doc Martens and like a chain from your belt loop. Love that so much. Very piratey. And look at these adorable converse. It looks like they have chokers on them. Just so beautiful. And belts. Belts of all kinds. Thick belts, skinny belts, multiple belts. I did multiple belts at the run fair. And this, these pearls are just so extra but so wonderful. Going back to the whole bridal thing that I'm really into these kind of cape type covers that are sequiny. I don't know if I'll ever get my hands on one. I think they sell them on Etsy or something, but that over a simple top, so beautiful. I want that. And this belt, so cute. I want this. I think I might make one or something, but it's a belt that holds up a long skirt. I've seen these at the run fair and it just adds a bit of like dimension to your outfit. And if it's just really long and you want it to be a little bit more airy, just like pull up the skirt. There are a lot of feminine, very yin accents that I also really love, like little flowers. I love ruffles. Embroidery is very big. It's a very time-consuming art. I just love it. It just, mm, it just warms my eyeballs. Gets them fired up real, real good. So as you can see, embroidery on sheer things, embellishments, sequins, this corset top just looks like magic to me. And then the other handmade aspect is obviously crochet and knit, things like that, just beautiful. It can be modest, but also you're covered up. It's just very mysterious to me, I love it. I prefer cotton or natural materials, so it just reminds me of like fairy clothes, or elf clothes, goblin core is one thing, but also that bohemian-ish type of look. All these pieces you can thrift, um, it's very fun because you can even take prom dresses and like use it as a corset. I saw one today at the thrift store, did not buy it because it was not my color, but I was very like, oh my god, it's beautiful. It looks like something out of a period drama. And when it comes to skirts and stuff, I don't want to lean too into like wearing long skirts because it is a lot of fabric. It can be kind of complicated. So I want to dabble in all kinds of bottoms, I should say. You can see there are a lot of different silhouettes in my board, like very short skirts, asymmetry is really important, a lot of layering, um, ties and bows I really love, little rivets and like buckles, very important when it comes to pirates I should say. One thing I think detracts from a fantasy wardrobe as far as bottoms goes is denim. I have one pair of corduroys that I'm obsessed with and they're dark green. I don't really own trousers which is sad. It's very difficult for me to find trousers or shop for them. But that is one thing that I definitely have noticed is when I want to do this kind of style, um, it can be more formal, which you'll see my board. There's a lot of skirts, like academia type skirts. This is probably the longest um, clothing video I have ever filmed where I just wanted to chat freely about what I'm loving. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this long content. If you stuck around, thank you for watching. I don't know what else I'll film, but hey, join me if you want to. If you're into this kind of stuff, thank you for watching. 
say thank you Levi and we'll see you guys next time bye